Welcome to the University of Glasgow, Dumfries campus. My name is Erin and I'm a postgraduate student here at the School of Interdisciplinary Studies based in beautiful Dumfries, southwest Scotland. It is a beautiful sunny day and absolutely perfect for a campus tour. So if you'd like to follow me, we will get started with the Rutherford McCowan building. Welcome to the Rutherford McCowan building. This side here is Rutherford and this side here is McCowan. And this is our main hub of activity here at the Dumfries campus. Now it's a really big building so we're going to just take it a little bit at a time and I'm going to start you off with the Rutherford side of the building. So the first thing that you'll see when you go through the entrance doors is you will see some really really lovely study spaces which are absolutely perfect for students to use in between classes. Another really great highlight of this building is Cafe Rutherford which is absolutely perfect to get maybe a quick bite to eat or some lunch and by the way absolutely perfect cup of tea and coffee every single time. What we also have in here is we have the Hunterian in the South, which is an exhibition that we display on a rotational basis sent down from the museum up in Glasgow. So you, it's really great to keep an eye and see what new stuff you can find in here. Also on the side of the building, we have one of our biggest lecture rooms, R127. Now, if you just go through the doors on the back end of the building, that is where you will find our school office, which is home to our wonderful professional services staff. These people are the best people to know on campus. They have all the information and knowledge on anything you need to know about. They can help you with PVG forms, they can help you with assignment submissions, absolutely anything you will ever need. Those are the people to talk to. Next, we're going to look at the McCowan side of the building. The first thing that you'll pass are some study spaces and you'll also find some seminar rooms. You will also be able to find the offices of the majority of our academic members of staff along with the office of our communications and engagement team. So if you go up one floor, this is where you will find our IT suite, where we have all of our computers and printing facilities, which you're more than welcome to use anytime you need to. Then if you go up one more floor, this is where you will find our exciting teaching lab, whereas this is where we do the majority of our research. Also on this floor, you can find some seminar rooms, which you can see some beautiful views of this campus. So as I said before, in this section of the building, you will find some study spaces along with Cafe Rutherford. If you go up a floor, this is where you'll find some tutorial and seminar rooms with again, some beautiful views of the campus along with our teaching garden, which I'll get to in just a moment. Also on that floor and up another floor, this is where you'll find some more offices of our academic and also teaching members of staff, along with my all-time favourite room on this campus, the Cairn Cross room. I will always have fond memories of this room as this is actually where I came to have my interview. It's also located up in the tower and if you love books, definitely give this place a look. So here we're at the back of the Rutherford McCown building and just behind me here you can actually see the back windows of R127, the lecture room that I mentioned before. So even when you're in class you can still get beautiful views of our teaching garden. Also something really important to mention is if you go through these doors here and down the corridor, just before you reach our school office you will find our student support services hub. This is to help you with anything you may ever need when you're a student here. Whether that's counselling or money advice or anything to do with disabilities, these are the people to speak to. So now, let's take a bit of a closer look at our teaching garden. Welcome to our teaching garden! It's absolutely amazing to have this resource right at our doorstep. This garden is free for any staff and students to use whenever they wish and we also have a gardening club where students can help grow anything from flowers to vegetables. So if you want to take a stab at gardening or really try and develop that skill, definitely check out our gardening club. We also use this garden for research and field work for some of our classes along with collecting samples for our teaching lab. So now let's head over to Maxwell House. Wow. 
Want to know another fun fact about our campus? Top tip for living in Scotland? Always carry a brolly. So, welcome to Maxwell House. So on the ground floor of Maxwell, you will find two lecture and tutorial rooms, along with the offices for CUCSA, which stands for the Crichton University Campus Students Association. They are made up from students from the University of the West of Scotland and the University of Glasgow, and their job is to organise all of the events for Freshers' Week, uh, any charity events, and also to help develop clubs and societies. So definitely check them out. They're a really great way of getting your voice heard on this campus. If you go up a floor in Maxwell House, you will find our biggest lecture room, M16. This is also the main hub that our education students will use, so you will be spending a lot of your time in here. Also, we have the postgraduate hub, and this is for our postgraduate taught students along with our postgraduate research students. It's just a dedicated space for them to get their work done. The Cook's offices that I mentioned before, just through this door. So we have been on this campus since 1999 and what makes this campus unique is that we are actually Scotland's first partnership campus and what that means is that it's not just the University of Glasgow that live here. We have got the University of the West of Scotland, we have Dumfries and Galloway College and we also have the SRUC. So as I was saying, we are situated within Dumfries, which is quite a small town in southwest Scotland. But even though it is quite a small place, it is by no means a quiet or dull one. Um, in terms of outdoor attractions, we have got so many gorgeous walks around Dumfries and Galloway. We have ones closer to home, even around this beautiful campus, as you can probably see. And we also have different attractions, slightly more far afield, such as maybe forest, if you fancy traveling a little bit. Dumfries is also very much an arts-based town. We've got quite a rich literary history with J.M. Barry, who is, of course, the author of Peter Pan, and also Robert Burns, the very famous poet. We also have Scotland's oldest working theatre, the Theatre Royal Dumfries, which has got lots of different drama societies that you can join. Welcome to the Crichton Church. This magnificent building plays host to a variety of different activities around about our campus. Let's take a peek inside. This is the Crichton Church. This is where we hold all of our graduation ceremonies in the summer. This is also where the university choir come to perform along with different Christmas concerts. It was even included on BBC's Songs of Praise. Our campus is situated within 85 acres of land and this building is definitely one of the highlights. Constructed in 1897, this non-denominational church plays host to weddings, concerts and so much more. There are many different aspects to our campus. We have the Holiday Inn Hotel, we have the Easterbrook Hall and Bistro, which includes a swimming pool and spa. We also have Crichton Central, along with Dumfries and Galloway council buildings and other local businesses. And now maybe one of the most important things, let me show you where the library is. The back of Maxwell House. Okay. 
as you can see, we have ample parking on our campuses and it is absolutely free. We also have a bus route that runs every 20 minutes that will take you right from here straight into the town centre. And there's also accessible parking at the front of each of our buildings. As you can see, we have plenty of parking across our campus and it is absolutely free. There is also a regular bus route that runs every 20 minutes and that will take you just from here right into the town centre. And we also have accessible parking at the front of each of our buildings. So here we have Dumfries and Galloway College and this is where the main library for this campus is located. As a University of Glasgow student you have access to the central library at Glasgow campus and you also have access to all of this library's materials here. You can also book some study spaces to use in the college if you wish and use any of the IT facilities as well. Downstairs in the college there is a canteen where you can purchase some hot food if you fancy and there's also a Costa coffee that you can go for a wee treat if you like. There is also a gym which you can use which is free for all students after a quick induction. Right, let's get back to Rutherford McEwen. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to check out our website, gla.ac.uk forward slash Dumfries and make sure to follow our social media channels at U of G Dumfries and we cannot wait to welcome you to campus.